Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Abba. Hi, this is Cooking Abba. Today I'm going to use KS chicken from Kisong to make braised chicken. Now, um, if you really want to compare between braised chicken, braised pork and braised duck, I would say braised chicken is the easiest. And the reason why I'm saying this is because um, it is e much easier for braised chicken for the braised flavor to really go into the braised chicken itself compared to pork and uh, duck. If it's duck, you probably even need to use a pressure cooker. And same thing applies to pork or pork uh, trotter. Yeah? But chicken, you don't need a pressure cooker for this. It's very easy. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, ingredient here. Of course, I have uh, one whole chicken from uh, KS Chicken here. Why I like using them because they are the first organic farm uh, in Malaysia, organic chicken farm in Malaysia. And then um, they are rare, all the chicken are rare without any growth hormone, without any uh, antibiotics. And to me, when I cook for my family, the best part is uh, we get to control what we want our family to eat. So we get to control of the ingredient. All right, this is, if you want to know how to purchase this uh, KS chicken, I will give you the purchase link inside the video description. You can check it out. All right, so um, today I'll, this is about 1.2 kg. I'll probably use half later, I will decide later. So other than that, uh, I will be adding some hard boiled egg. Yeah, some hard boiled egg together. And also one piece of traditional tofu. These two will also taste very good later. And what will what do we need to make the broth, uh, the braised broth? So you will need some. Uh, this is approximately. I never know how to measure ginger. <laughs> some say two centimeter, three centimeter. How you do that? Because all the ginger comes in different thickness, right? <laughs> Anyhow, it is approximately. I would say about one tablespoon to about one point five tablespoon of ginger, lah. Huh? So later we are going to chop all this up. Yeah. Use a mini blender and also two big cloves of garlic. This is uh, fresh coriander roots. This is uh, the white portion of the fresh, uh, this is the spring onion and also two shallot. So later we will chop it up. This then I have about two pieces of star anise here. This is all broken. <laughs> uh, Still can be used, okay? Don't waste. Then I have one piece of bay leaves, one black cardamom. Uh, this is one and a half piece of uh, cinnamon stick, agar agar lah, huh? and one uh, one teaspoon of uh, five spice powder. And this is one tablespoon of rock sugar. You can use any sugar that you like, no problem. And we, I will to give it a bit of twist. I will use the mei kui lu. Yeah, this is the Chinese rose cooking wine, Chinese rose cooking wine that gives you some rose flavor, very nice. You can use Shaoxing wine if you don't have this, yeah? Of course, if you don't take alcohol, totally omit the alcohol part. And we will, use, we will need some light soy sauce and also uh, dark soy sauce as well. All right, I've cut the chicken into half. Uh, this is approximately 600 gram, right? Um, well, next thing we are going to do is to season it, marinate it. Marinate it with a little bit of salt and uh, soy sauce. Okay, this is uh, salt. And uh, rose cooking wine. Wish you can smell this. <laughs> Okay, some dark soy sauce. This is actually for the color. Papa did a live session eh, explaining about different types of uh, light soy sauce before. You can check it out. Very interesting because I, oh, I invited a chef to share with uh, his experience on. Uh, Lights and on different kinds of soya sauce with us. All right. So after this, we are going to leave it aside for a couple of minutes.
Okay, next thing we do, we bring out your chopper, put in the ginger, garlic, coriander roots, uh, spring onion and shallot. All the ingredients I use, I'll put inside the, uh, the equipment and ingredients I use, I'll put inside the description, okay? Oops, sorry. Okay. Okay, few seconds done. Off the power. Okay, we just want this consistency. All right, we can start cooking right now. Got to give him some vegetable oil, or you can use garlic oil or onion oil. And we're going to saute the ginger, shallot, and also garlic just now. I forgot to on the other light. Papa is trying to use some new equipment today to give you a better uh, visual. I hope it helps. Oh, a bit of shiny part on this area. Oops. Hmm. Let me adjust the angle a little bit. I really cannot remove the shine, the reflection of the light. <laughs> uh, for my walk, my voice is too shiny. Oh man. Anyway, let's continue. Lah, eh? <laughs> Ooh, this is very, very fragrant. So, saute this for at least uh, two, three minutes. Until you really feel the fragrance coming out. Then you can add in the dry spice. Ooh, be careful with the five spice powder. You can get burned. Turn down the fire a little bit. Hot water, preferably, or you can use chicken stock, even better. Use medium high heat right now. Ooh, super fragrant. Right, so let's start. Make this into a braise. So we have the rock sugar, my, uh, where's the light? Light soy sauce, two to three tablespoons at least. Dark soy sauce for the color. At least three or four tablespoons. You can adjust yourself, no problem. Immediately it turns darker right now. And our if you only have saoxing wine, you can add saoxing wine. I'm adding the rose cooking wine. Maybe half a bowl. Ooh. Super fragrance right now. Don't worry about adding cooking wine into your dish because uh, the alcohol will evaporate due to high temperature, alright? So it is now boiling and I'm going to add in some salt 
about one teaspoon of salt first. Towards the end, we can still adjust. But I want to give it some base saltiness first. So this is our chicken. Marinated chicken at the side just now. And put in the chicken. We can also put in the tofu and the eggs. Right. So basically, uh, because the, the, the braise, the broth doesn't really cover the whole of the chicken, so later, I will every about maybe about every five to maybe every 10 minutes, I will flip it around. Uh, we are going to use uh, now it's already boiling. We are going to tune down to uh, medium or medium low and uh, brace it for approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Then it is done. But every about 10 minutes, I will flip the chicken around so that it can be cooked more evenly. Okay, this is after approximately 25 minutes. Oh, very fragrant. The broth has uh, reduced, yeah, taken up also. All right. Nicely colored also. All the tofu and eggs. Basically, it's done. Um, I, will, I will dish out the ingredient here. And then you can uh, use uh, salt and also sugar to give some final seasoning to uh, this broth. Or you can also make it further reduced. Uh, up to you. Okay. Just this. You can put some cucumber at the bottom, yeah? Uh, actually, my broth today is a little bit salty, so I didn't add extra salt and sugar. I actually added some water to dilute it, yeah? And then I let it boil for a few minutes to reduce. To let it reduce and thicken up. Okay, I will garnish it with something. Okay, some fresh coriander. Right, done. A very flavorful braised chicken. Okay, um, if you like my very simple video today, please share your vid my video on your Facebook to your friends. Uh, come to Cooking Up our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.